Hi, I'm Mark Heineman from GetGolfing.ie and today we're at the fabulous Beaufort Golf Club in Killarney County Kerry, South West Ireland, continuing our series of instructional videos that are designed to help you play your best golf. And today we're looking at the pitch shot, okay, in particular the low flighted high spinning pitch shot. Let's take a look. Often a part of the game that I see club golfers struggling with because it's neither a chip and run from a closer distance and it's not a full distance golf swing where we can hit a golf shot with a, with a full swing. Okay, So it's that sort of shot that's in between. A little bit of confusion often arises here in how to go about this one. Um, so I've looked at the top players in the world over a number of uh, years at this particular shot and a few common uh, points that actually crop up there. Generally play the ball with a quite a low flighted trajectory. A lot of spin on the ball, so it stops quite quickly, generally on like the second or third bounce, doesn't really roll a whole lot when it actually lands on the green, okay? And take very little divot, so very shallow at the bottom of the swing here, very broad base to the golf swing. Okay, so like any shot in golf, there's a number of things we need to consider in the setup first to give us the best chance of success. Okay, so uh, certainly ball position here, trying to keep the ball fairly centered between your two heels okay so somewhere in line with the sternum um, certainly on a slower pace swing like this we see the base of the swing going to be somewhere around um, sternum between our two heels okay so ball position second thing there what I like to see is a slightly open stance. So if we were to take a look here in terms of the address position, toe line, I've got the actual left foot drawn slightly back. So my uh, left toe is pretty much equal to the instep of the, instep of the right shoe here. Okay, But don't get caught by allowing the shoulders to go too much to the left. It's really only just the toe line that we want open. So it's basically setting our um, left side, left foot back. And the idea of that, it just allows us to turn and keep the rotation of our body going through the shot, okay? So we've got ball position. We've got a slightly open stance here with the toe line, okay? And the third thing that I'd be looking at here would be to have the body weight marginally left footed, okay? So maybe like 60% at most. Uh, just for a bit of stability and to give us a slight angle of attack that's on the way down, okay? So again, three key things in the setup there that I want you to bear in mind. We've got the ball position. We've got a slightly open stance with the toe line. And third thing there is that I've got my body weight marginally left footed, okay? So maybe 60% on the left side. Okay, so once we've got the setup under control, um, one of the key things we're going to look at here is using the bounce on the club. Okay, so essentially using the back edge of the club here, back edge of the sand wedge sole to hit the ground before the front edge does. Okay, so certainly we don't want to see too much of what I call handle pulling or pulling the handle this way. Okay, that's going to give us a lot of front edge and take all the bounce off it. Okay, so feel as though the shaft is fairly neutral at the start and more importantly, at impact. Okay, so certainly this setup position and the impact shouldn't really differ a whole pile. Okay, as I said, we certainly don't want too much of, of this type of action going on here where the handle gets too much in front of the head. Okay, so we want the head to return fairly neutral back to where it was and again, feeling as though that this part of the sole of the club actually hits the ground before the front edge does, okay? So from there on, what we've got to remember is that the length and the pace of your swing will determine how far the golf ball actually travels through the air, okay? So certainly on a shorter shot, that's gonna require a shorter swing. On a longer shot, that's gonna require a longer swing. 
but always try and maintain the length of the swing to be equal on both sides of your body. Okay, so let's give that a try. Okay, so a short distance shot. Short swing. Okay, longer distance shot is going to require a longer swing on both sides, back and through. Okay, so certainly this type of shot is all about trying to get the ball to land a particular distance. Okay, so it's important that you know how far the shot is and how far a particular swing is going to actually send that ball through the air. Okay, so what I want you to bear in mind, try to think of a clock face. Okay, so what we've got up here, 12 o'clock, six down below, nine and three okay so trying to match up your hands on both sides of the swing uh, equal okay so set up good and what i'm going to think about on this one is a swing that's along the lines of eight o'clock to four o'clock so that's where my hands get to okay okay if i want to add a little bit more distance to that I'm going to work my hands more along the lines of nine to three. Okay, and that's gone about 10 or 12 yards further than the last one. Okay, and final one, thinking here now a little bit further, I'm going to go more towards 10 o'clock to two o'clock, okay? Okay, so again, another 10 yards or more through the air than the previous balls. Okay, so once you've got the setup correct, again, the length and pace of your golf swing will determine how far the ball travels through the air. Okay, so with one club, you actually get three very accurate distances that the golf ball travels through the air. Okay, so I'm Mark Heinemann. That's our pitching lesson for today. Hope you found something there that helped you. Check out the rest of my YouTube uh, videos there on the other areas of the game of golf and uh, hope you'll find something that you like.